today we will start our third module atomic structure before starting the portions in the syllabus we will briefly review some of the basic concepts so we know that it was john dalton who proposed that matter is made up of atoms but those atoms are indivisible and it was j j thomson who discovered electrons electrons are part of the atoms and they are having negative charge but as a whole the atom is neutral so now uh a uh, physicist started thinking about the structure of the atom so the jj thomson was the first one to propose a model for the atom which is the plum pudding model so it was proposed in the year 1898 so in this model the atoms are positively charged lumps of matter with electrons embedded in them like raisins in a fruit cake or plums in a pudding or seeds in a watermelon so thomson electrons discover edu but negatively charged aan as a whole atom neutral aan appo adile positive charge und negative charge und appo atomine structure engena aan explain cheyandi vannu so according to him Uh, the positively charged particles are spread and the electrons are arranged in it like raisins in a fruit cake or plums in a pudding or uh, seeds in a watermelon so this model is called plum pudding model but this model the plum pudding model was not in agreement with uh, the results of the rutherford experiment Uh, which was done by Geiger and Ernest Mass done in 1911 under the guidance of Rutherford. So it was a scattering experiment. Uh, here the scattering of our alpha particles from a thin gold foil is studied. So the apparatus is like this. Uh, we know that the alpha particles are doubly ionized. helium atoms uh, which are produced from radioactive substances so the alpha particles are passed through a collimator then they are allowed to hit a thin gold foil then the scattered alpha particles are observed with the help of a microscope if the jj thomson's model was right most all the alpha particles should go through this golden foil without any deviation or without any without any deflection or scattering the so maximum 1 degree of deflection part will jj thomson model correct anengil but most of the alpha particles were not deviated were not deflected but a few alpha particles were scattered through very large angles some of the alpha particles were even scattered in the backward direction but some of the large angles scattered some of the backward in an incident they did uh, 180 degree la la scattered the back scattering avada nadan so by the experimental results and the rutherford uh, remark is it was incredible as if you fired a 15 inch shell at a piece of tissue paper and it came back and hit you apo a train strong it la alpha particle ne back scattering cheyanengile oru strong concentrated and highly dense പോസിറ്റീവ് ചാർജ് ആറ്റത്തിനകത്ത് വേണം എന്നാലേ ആ ബാക്ക് സ്കാറ്ററിങ് പോസിബിൾ ആവുള്ളൂ സോ റദർഫോൺ ഫൗണ്ട് ദാറ്റ് ദി ആറ്റം 
is composed of a tiny nucleus in which its positive charge and nearly all its mass are concentrated. And the electrons are revolving around this nucleus at some distance from this nucleus. So, the nucleus is highly dense. All of the mass, most of the mass of the atom is present in the nucleus. So, and all the positive charge of the atom is there in the nucleus. So, the electrons are revolving the, around this nucleus at some distance away and therefore most of the space in the atom is empty. But that's alpha particles without any deviation this gold foil would pass it. Because these alpha particles are nucleus in earth, the nucleus in earth, the nucleus in earth, the positive charge will be there. The intense electric field will be there that scatters the alpha particles at very large angles. See, electrons are very large, light and massive, which is about 1 by 1836 times the mass of the nucleus. They will not affect the alpha particles. The nucleus is charged and dense. Those alpha particles hitting the nucleus are backscattered. So, uh, using this model, the advantage of this model is that the dimension of the nucleus can also be predicted. Which was about uh, 10 raised to minus 15 meters. So, the nucleus is uh, 1 by 10 raised to 5 the size of the atom. The size of the atom is 10 raised to minus 10 meters and that of the nucleus is 10 raised to minus 15 meters. So therefore uh, the size of the nucleus is very very small compared to the size of the atom. So the Rutherford model of the atom which is a planetary model the proton or the nucleus is at the center and the electrons are revolving around the nucleus in circular paths. So we can consider this model for hydrogen atom. So hydrogen atom is having only one proton in the nucleus. So we have a proton over here and the electron is revolving with a velocity v. And let the radius of the circular path is r. Uh, this electron is revolving in the uh, we have force of attraction between the positive charge and the negative charge. So the electron is having the charge minus E and the proton is having the charge plus E. Here the centripetal force balances the electrostatic force of attraction between the electron and the nucleus. So we know that the centripetal force is given by Fc is equal to mv square by r. The electrostatic force between the nucleus and the electron is given by 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q1 q2 by r square. Here q1 is minus e and q2 is plus c so therefore minus e square by r square so here uh, the centripetal force should be equal and opposite to that of the nuclear force of attraction then only the electron can revolve around the atom so mv square by r should be equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 e square by r square. So cancelling similar terms uh, we can have this v square is equal to e square by 4 pi epsilon 0 mr 
so r is a common factor on both sides we can cancel and therefore the velocity is equal to e by root of 4 pi epsilon 0 mr so the total energy of the electron is the sum of So the total energy of the electron is the sum of its kinetic energy and potential energy. So here the kinetic energy is equal to half mv square. So which will be e square by 8 epsilon 0 r. And the potential energy is the electrostatic potential energy between the nucleus and the electron which is 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q1 q2 by r. So here q1 is plus e and q2 is minus e minus e square by r. And therefore the total energy is the kinetic energy e square by 8 pi epsilon 0 r plus the potential energy minus e square by 4 pi epsilon 0 r. So this is e square minus 2 e square divided by uh, 8 pi epsilon 0 r which is minus e square by 8 pi epsilon 0 r. So this is the total energy of the electron in the hydrogen atom according to the Rutherford model. And we can see that this total energy is negative. So that means the electron is bound to the atom. So, so if the energy is positive that means that electron is not bound to the nucleus. It is a free electron. So here the energy, total energy is negative which shows that the electron is bound to the nuclear force of attraction. So the total energy is this. So uh, the electron is bound. So now uh, the experiments indicate that 13.6 electron volt is required to separate a hydrogen atom into a proton and an electron. That means the uh, ionization energy is 13.6 electron volt. That is this total energy is negative of this minus 13.6 electron volt. So find the orbital radius and the velocity of the electron in the hydrogen atom. So we have total energy kandu minus e square by 8 pi epsilon 0 r. Now we have minus 13.6 electron volt substitute e and joules to convert to e. That is r. So we have 5.3 into 10 raised to minus 11 meters. So we have a third switch to the radius. So Rutherford model is can explain the radius of the hydrogen atom. That is velocity kandu yudhikya. Velocity yudhikya equation nammal kandu. E by root of 4 pi epsilon 0 mr. Anna padli substitute yudhikya nammal kittiya yudhu 1.6. Yelam value substitute yudhikya 2.2 into 10 raised to 6 meter per second. So here the velocity is very much less than c. So we can use the non-relativistic equation. So for Rutherford model, there are advantages and limitations. That means the stability of the atom cannot be explained with the help of Rutherford model. We will discuss this in detail in the class. And also, the presence of spectral lines also cannot be explained with the help of the Rutherford model. For Rutherford model, the radius Predictium, but the electron velocity predictium, but the agreement is an experiment. Right, but she either under stability of the atom cannot be explained, and also the presence of spectral series cannot be explained with the help of a Rutherford model. Okay.